Hello and welcome to Tech Talks. My name is Lisa and I'm the Digital Services Librarian at St. Albert Public Library and today I would like to show you consumer reports. So the way you get to that is you go to our website sapl.ca and you're going to click on eLibrary. We're going to do that right now and if you go a bit further down the page you're going to see consumer reports. There it is right there. We're going to tap on more and this just gives you a bit of detail about what Consumer Reports Magazine is, how to access it, and the privacy policy in terms of reference. So we're just going to tap on how to access to open it up. And when you're doing this at home, it's going to prompt you to put your library card number in and your PIN. Your library card number is the number that starts with five twos. And don't put any spaces in. Put that full number in with no spaces. So I actually already had this open, so I'm just going to pop back to where I had it. There we go. So once you put your library card and PIN in, you'll be brought to this page. So this is Consumer Reports Magazine. Those of you who probably have looked at the Consumer Reports Print Magazine, this is exactly the same thing, only it's the online version. And you have access to this for free with your library card. So let's just take a little bit of a tour of, home, of Consumer Reports. So this is the landing page. This will give you a bunch of different information right on the front. You can search by keyword, so let's try doing that. Let's do, how about we'll look at dishwashers. There we go, and we're gonna search. So I searched for dishwashers, keyword. So it brought up everything about dishwashers. It has an overview, the ratings. Let's take a look at that. That's probably a popular feature that you'll be looking for, are the ratings. So this might look familiar if you've looked at the print version of Consumer Reports magazine. So you've got the normal, everyday kind of overview of the ratings what's good, the different brands, the product reliability, all the things that you would see in the regular magazine. So you might find that handy. They also have recommended. So if we tap on that, this is where Consumer Reports actually talks about what they recommend and what's been recommended for, for dishwashers and they're all rated excellent. So that is how you use that piece. And then they also have a buying guide. There we go dishwasher buying guide. So they talk about just an overview of some of the things to look for, how they've been tested, the different price ranges that they have. Great stuff. So that's how you use the keyword search. You can just search by the product, like a dishwasher or a barbecue, that kind of thing. Or you can click on the upper left, those three little lines. Now if you're on a computer, this is going to look different. Or a smartphone, it will look slightly different, but the same content. So let's take a peek under here. So you can see, you can go under by product. So the different areas like electronics. Let's have a look actually at electronics. So let's say you're in the market for a new computer. We're gonna tap on that. And then it brings up different types. So whether it's laptop, desktop, Chromebooks, uh, tech support and in tech support, interesting. So they also have that as well. So that's kind of a handy thing. So exactly like the dishwasher, we're gonna tap on laptops. They also have the buying guide and the ratings. Here we go. And here are the ratings. So that shows you all the ratings, just exactly like the dishwasher. So we're on the ratings tab, but there's also features and specs. So you can look under that and then reliability and satisfaction. So if you want to really break it down more, you can go under those and it will show you the data in more of a condensed version. There we go. So that's kind of handy if you just want a quick visual of, oh, okay, these are the brands that are higher rated by Consumer Reports and these are the ones that are lower. And so that's how you use it. Really easy to use. You can use this here or you can do the keyword search. Now they also have a little bit more than what um, you would expect to find in Consumer Reports. They do have news. So this is an interesting feature. Consumer Reports, this is the American version. They will often have some Canadian content in there as well. So they've got some, some news more related, of course, to products, recalls, different tips for buying different types of things. And then they have issues that matter. So data privacy, food safety, coronavirus, all that sort of thing that you can look at. And they have a few videos as well. Let's take a peek at that. Look at that, a video on how to wash your hands. So they've got all sorts of videos in here that you can look at. So those are different things that you can use besides just actually looking for the product. You can look by those tips and the news articles. And again, that's found on the upper left. If you're on a computer, it'll look a little different. And you just tap on that and go further down past all products. And you can go under news or issues that matter. Let's look at the products A to Z and see what that brings up. 
So if you're not exactly sure what category it's going to go under, you can also look this way. So this is just alphabetical. It's just another, another way of searching. And if we, if we filter it down by cars, then it's going to really zone in on what type, of, what part of the car are you looking for, the battery or actual cars. It's a really nice way to get it filtering down to what you really are looking for. And that is Consumer Reports. So while you can't access the print version in the library right now, you have full access to the online version, which has all the same content that you would find in the magazines, and it's all free with your library card.